Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, <clears throat> somebody said something about Dan. I can tell that he has a camera on. He's, um, um, well, I was getting dressed before he just shows up. So, uh, we've got, we've got, uh, lots of different technology. And they've got a lot of money and, and it's available on the dark web, which is an illegal site. And, um, he, they just use dimensional doorways. Um, just break in, like, I was getting changed in my bathroom into these clothes that I'm wearing now. He just shows up. He's invisible, cloaking devices. Again, technology. Never can tell what he's filming or not. Apparently, he's, he's filming the whole thing and just trying to remain calm. So, um, he was saying, oh, you've lost weight. So, yeah, on the supplement me with if I have um, menopause and I've got some menopause belly because of that and all that and then off he goes again so apparently he was apparently filming it so um sorry but um it's not not something I I would like to be happening but this is the way it is this is this has been going on between him and me for many months now and and I was just like God laid a table for me in the presence of my enemies right leave them off as soon as possible please God <laughs> <coughs> so uh, a point I want to make at this point is just because you see someone be, with um, for instance footage of them in the shower or naked in the shower or whatever does not actually mean they're going out with them <clears throat> right, because if they're rich enough or they've got friends who are rich enough, they can pretty much make it look like they're somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend and they, they're just stalkers. Right, really, really dangerous stalkers. And if it happens to you, think down into your heart and pray your ass off because it's a really dangerous situation. <clears throat> Whether you can see them or not, whether they're using cloaking devices or not, and whether they use copies of your keys easy enough to do, there's only a certain amount of different keys that are available to everyone. And no matter how they look, there's only a certain number of cuts. And, and they do have friends who are locksmiths. So whether they do it with keys or whether they do it with um, te technological keys, which get people through walls, um, just as dangerous. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, uh, calling the police is just like, <clears throat> they do it with a key, sure, but they tend not to nowadays. Because if you try to call the police, it, even if they're not corrupt police, they're just like, wait, you got somebody invisible in your house. Mm-hmm. How they get in, uh, advanced technology, and mm -hmm. I'll just call the mental ward. We won't be long. Uh, no, and and it's too late then anyway. You just pray. Think down into heart. Do Terry Center operating function is what one I use. Or, um, and or uh, boom. And all, I do not validate any reality that it's not good in a hole in your nut and in a meek. They're gone. But you've got to <sighs> centre, try not to panic, try not to panic enough to think, what do I do now? <laughs> um, and as soon as you can, you just do that. You can also, um, it helps if you're doing like I said, there are at least three prayers a day plus ones before going out and ones before sleep because um, the ones you pray to down in your heart that you can trust, as long as you can trust them, 
we'll, we'll be keeping a regular eye on you as well. So you might find that they'll they'll help you to think in that situation. You've got to do, you've got to pray now sort of thing, right? And you can pray about it now as well. The other thing is for anyone, um, I've had to stop this a few times today, um, we, sacrificing yourself for your people does not work because they just get wiped out. So you're better off staying with them and fighting with them and asking for help. So, yeah, don't go off scan, scan codes. Don't sacrifice yourself because you'll be sacrificing your people as well. Stay and fight with them. Say no. Somebody tries to say for you to come with them. Say no. Ask for help. Thinking down to your heart. Carry standard offering function. Boom. Do not validate anywhere else because it's not good enough. Holding into a nice and then a meek. Use my combat breakers. Because they'll just kill you, put somebody else's brain in your head, or skin you, wear your skin. If they've got somebody who works for them that's the same size as you, rip out your vocal cords, stick them in the other person, they'll pretend to be you, they'll say, tell them to do evil, they're, they're gone. I, I want to say these are the end times so they'll do anything so you understand what I mean. The fact is they've always been like this. Always been like this. But where are the ones before you? They've always been like this. This is not new behaviour. They've always been like this. The ones before you wiped out the same way. Don't you make the same mistake they did. Love all of you who are good and are holy and you're nice and then I'm meek. 